The second issue is whether the Prime Minister's note establishes a reservation to the treaty. Under Article 21D of the VCLT, a reservation is defined as a statement by a state which serves to exclude or modify the legal consequences of specific provisions as it relates to the state. In this scenario, after the Prime Minister peruses the treaty, he subscribes a note that he understands the treaty. However, the same does not require Slobovia to cease the production of its leading export product, cheese whip, to spray on cheese. By this note, the Prime Minister is advising that Slobovia's consent to the treaty is conditional. Therefore, it could be argued that the note is a reservation that seeks to exclude Slobovia from the legal consequences that flow therefrom. Alternatively, the note could be regarded as an interpretive declaration. This term is not provided in the VCLT, however, it could be found in a paper by the International Law Commission as to clarify or modify provision in the treaty. Therefore, it could be argued that the Prime Minister's note is seeking to clarify provision in the treaty while reiterating the conditions under which Slobovia will be bound to the same. Whether the note is a reservation or an interpretive declaration, it will have the same effect. This principle was highlighted in the Bellisos case where the court held that a declaration made by Switzerland was a simple interpretive declaration, but has the effect of a reservation. For the note to be considered a reservation, it must be formulated in accordance with Article 19. The treaty seeks to prevent ozone depletion, and the note is essentially saying that Slobovia does not intend to cease using spray cans, which is a conflict. Also, a reservation must be recognized to be accepted by another state in accordance with Article 24C. Switzerland formally objected to the treaty, however, on Article 21.3, it was required to oppose the dates of entry into force. In the absence thereof, the objection has no effect between the states. This was supported in the reservations to the Genocide Convention case, where it was held that objections to a reservation that were incompatible with the treaty's object and purpose, the reserving states will not be a party. However, if Switzerland objects to the note only, the entry into force of the remainder of the treaty will not be impeded. The reservation will be severed, and the treaty will still be permitted. This rule was confirmed in the English Channel case. All things considered, the Prime Minister's notes, note expresses the condition under which Sobovia will be bound to the treaty. Uh, seeing that the interpretive declaration and the treaty has the same legal equivalent, the note is likely to be regarded as a reservation. Created using Powtoon.